Hi, my name is uh, Ben Armstead. I'm uh, 175 pounds, uh, 5'10". I compete in uh, men's physique uh, class B uh, in the open division. I've been uh, nationally qualified for uh, the last uh, two years. Okay. And what shows do you do this year? Um, I competed in the uh, Grand Rapids this year and I also competed in the Michigan. Um, came in a little better in the, the Grand Rapids, but uh, you know, live and learn. Um, yeah, I don't really know where to go with that, really. <laughs> no, Without getting too technical, I'm like, you know, I don't know things yeah, with, uh, yeah. with the shows, but, you know, um, I don't know. So today, what do you train about? Okay. Um, today I trained uh, chest and triceps, and I uh, hit a little bit of abs. Um, on my uh, chest, I've been working to kind of bring up my uh, upper chest, um, bringing that up. After we did our, uh, after we did flat, flat bench, just uh, trying to work on a little bit of stability, and uh, hit, hitting the weight kind of high, just really you know getting some blood pumped in the muscles at the end there, and my uh, like you know went from like low reps up to uh, higher reps, and just trying to put as much blood in my chest as I can. Um, after that, we worked on uh, some chest flies with a, at a slight incline. Um, I work them at uh, two different angles. Uh, first angle, I try to hit more of my my lower pecs. And, uh, and then I kind of switch up the angles and hit, hit my upper chest as well, uh, kind of in a superset, and uh, just pushing, just pushing blood. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, <laughs> but we do after that. Uh, Should I think with uh, chest flies? Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, we uh, continued over to uh, chest flies. Um, I usually I like to hit uh, chest flies a little bit lighter at first, and I kind of uh, ramp it up more towards the the last few sets. Um, and I like to add in the, the presses at the end, really just to uh, work on the center of my chest and kind of like the separation between my packs. Um, so I did cable crossovers. Uh, after that, we did uh, some triceps. I like to superset a lot of my triceps, really just to move a lot of volume and uh, work them at different angles. So I like to, uh, you know, work. Uh, I usually like to start with, start out with a rope and then start out with some sort of a reverse grip if I can, just to. Um, work all angles of my tricep and then uh Excellent. yeah 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 working on abs you know you can't really forget those in men's physique but uh just working on, i call them like the the crucifix or whatnot you know just trying to work them at different angles or whatnot trying to work on my a little bit of obliques and just uh keep everything tight try not to get too uh blocky you, do you know normally train abs like on their own day or how do you normally do that on what when would you normally train abs um, I train abs uh, normally about like three three times a week, roughly. You know, just I try to you know stagger my days. I don't I don't uh, go back to back with them, but also when I train abs, I don't uh, do the same exercises twice in a week. So I'll, I'll, I'll pick like a superset, but I'll have like three different supersets laid out for the week, so I can kind of mix it up and keep my body guessing, if you will. You know. Okay, gotcha. What um what was just your, you're obviously just coming out of show. What yeah. was your diet like leading into the show as opposed to compared to like your off-season um, My diet leading into the show, I, I go with a very uh, low carbohydrate diet. You know, I uh, just keep maintain my protein at a, at a pretty high level. And then uh, I just, I eat about, I mean, I guess the, the rest of it's all, all in fats just to keep my, my head feeling right and everything. It's more of like a, a ketogenic approach, you know, so. I usually stay pretty keto for a while, and then I'll uh, practice carb loads coming up to the show. Like this year, I was I was ready about, you know, I was probably ready almost a month out, and then I decided to uh, do a couple practices coming in so I can kind of keep track. It's hard uh, after you get so lean; it's like you only get so many shots at really, you know, carb loading yourself up and really trying to look how as you would like on stage, kind of like a practice peak week. So uh, in the future, I can really learn my body and you know, come in perfect for the next show, you know. Do you seem to drop down weight pretty easy you don't have a hard time? Um, I, I kind of maintained, you know, I, I started my prep at about uh, 186, 187, and then uh, I ended up probably a day before the show, I was probably about down to 173, so show weight, I was between 173 and 175. Okay, so you're pretty um, lean year-round then. Yeah, you know? but yeah, I stayed pretty lean year-round. Uh, Last year, I mean, the heaviest I've been is about 196, but I'm going to try to top that this year. I, I go kind of seasonal, uh, living in Michigan, so, you know, we go uh, more in the fall time. I start packing on the pounds and stay warm in the winter, and coming into spring, I start cutting back down and, uh, you know, starting to get the abs out. Right. <laughs> well, um, motocross, you know, I always got, it's, it's kind of like, uh, 
how I explained it to my friend the other day was uh, motocross you had like the gates you got these 40 guys lined up at the gate we're all rushing into the same the the first corner you know and you got like that adrenaline rush and those butterflies and stuff and I almost get the same thing stepping on stage you know, you're back pumping up with all the guys and and you get that that short moment of truth where you walk out and get to you know do your best throw it all out on the line you know but were you always kind of like lifting weights and stuff or yeah I mean, I actually, I started my senior year of high school, so I was, uh, it was in 2006. Coming out of high school, I was 125 to 130 pounds. So I was actually a, a very small guy. I got picked on a lot or whatnot, you know, and went away to college and just started uh, started lifting and just eating. You know, I came back from college about 165 pounds, and then just over the years, slowly but surely, started putting more weight on. I competed in uh, Olympic lifting for, for a year, so I did that. And then uh, I really got serious about bodybuilding probably the beginning of 2013. And that's really where I started. Uh, I, I planned my, uh, I, well, I guess I planned my one of my shows and I really got into dieting, you know. And then when I, when I started learning the diet, there was just so much, you know, that I didn't know. That I was, you know, it was almost like I was spinning my wheels for, for years because I made so much more progress actually, uh, I guess, learning the science behind it, you know. And I had no idea, but like you were saying that motocross is actually very physical. Like I would never. Really yeah, mo yeah, motocross is actually very uh, physical compared to what most people think. It's actually a lot of uh, physical endurance, I guess, if you will. And uh, you're, uh, it's really hard in your forearms and obviously your legs and everything. It's, so yeah, I, I compare it to like uh, trying to stay on a bowl for about 25 minutes and just trying to hang onto that bike and stay ahead of everybody else. So it's uh, yeah, a lot of adrenaline and a lot of. Uh, you know, speed, you gotta, it's like you're, you're, you're pushing it all the way to the limits and you're just trying to stay on two wheels, if you will. <laughs> you know, just trying to keep that thing up. <laughs> uh, anyone but, you'd like to thank my girlfriend or anything? Yeah, I'd like to, um, I'd like to thank uh, Haley McVitie for uh, staying so patient with me throughout this whole prep process. Uh, she's actually been, she's never missed one of my shows and uh, she's always supported me through the, my whole bodybuilding process and all my, uh, you know, <laughs> hobbies and everything. I'd also like to uh, thank uh, Rob Zielinski for uh, you know just being there for me. He's always been there to answer questions for me and just uh, be a really good friend of mine. So. Okay. Well, good luck. Uh, we'll catch up with you when you're prepping for a show next year, man. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Thank you.